So the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection came out fairly recently along with an absolute shambles of an achievement list and today I will be going over how I got them all and how you can too so let's get into this try. First off there are a total of 45 achievements in the game, there are 3 for campaigns, 2 in Battlefront 1, 1 in Battlefront 2, there are 13 in Battlefront 2 medal related achievements and there are 2 miscellaneous achievements in Battlefront 1. However the Marshal Commander 100% achievement is temporarily unavailable due to a bug. So first off we're going to kick off with the Clone Wars campaign where we're playing as the CIS on Naboo Plains where we'll be slaughtering a bunch of Gungans along with some of the local wildlife. Overall not too bad of a level, pretty enjoyable, good start. We'll then march on into Thede and slaughter a couple hundred Captain Panarka clones and blast them to pieces with their own artillery. Great success, let's move on. Then on to colonize Kashyyyk where I decided first person mode was too annoying and swapped the third person and where we munch up some big hairy carpets who don't know how to watch those wrist rockets. We'll then switch to players as a Republic during their first ever battle on Geonosis. <coughs> not, like, not, not a simulation, as a matter of fact nothing at all like the simulations on Kamino. Also sat here like a plonker trying to figure out how to take the gunship off for a solid 5 minutes. Speaking of Camino, that's where we head next, where we have a stupendous advantage command post wise, and about 50 units more, and batter the metallic sods into submission. Overall, fairly easy, went pretty well, let's move on. Then we take a lovely trip up to Renvar, because mum said we had hop at home, where we have a scrap, with some scrap. I don't remember much of the fighting, I guess we won. Kashyyyk Beachhead was so hard I wanted to flam my penis in the car door and resulted in a couple defeats but we eventually prevail, ending our first campaign and getting our first achievement. Then onto the Galactic Civil War campaign where we start out as the Empire in the land of the coarse, rough and irritating. So we batter the rebels as instructed, along with shamelessly shooting up a local inhabitant's place of residence for fun. Then onto Mos Eisley, where it appears we've killed all the sand people in the previous mission, as there are nowhere to be seen here. And again, bully the rebels into submission, like the amazing elite space police force we are. We also catch Vader looking for a drink and going the complete wrong way about it. We then travel back to Aldi's own brand Hoth and murder some space terrorists because it makes Lord Vader happy, and it made me happy too. Then onto Yarvan Arena where we shoot up something that may or may not resemble an outdoor forest temple. Yeah, something's telling me that we're not the good guys here are we? Questionable morality aside, this closes the Empire part of the campaign. Then onto the Rebel portion where we continue on getting our bums kicked straight out of Yarvan, but not really because we won this battle on a level called Fall of Yarvin. Go figure. Then we go to Hoth which involves shooting the odd snow trooper and a lot of sodding around doing an awful lot of nothing and spending the odds of 5 minutes running after the last couple snow troopers. Overall somewhat miserable, can't really recommend, but that last kill was really worth it. Then onto perhaps the most intense fiasco of the whole campaign, with two bestman levels back to back, with one involving us pushing them around the top platforms like trying to fit a nervous cat into a pet carrier and then trapping them in the middle and dumping all over the top of them with the sniper before the enjoyable yet chaotic shot show that was the platforms level which was mostly throwing grenades and bum rushing the connecting bridges. Finally onto the Battle of Endor where we are backed up by little teddy bears with spears and use the power of wildlife to tackle the intergalactic space military with the reasoning and logic of we are the good guys so we must win, bringing an end to the Galactic Civil War campaign and Battlefront 1 for the moment and getting our second achievement. Then onto Battlefront 2 where we start on the 501st journal, beginning with the tutorial on Geonosis, you know, in case I've forgotten how to play this game, I've been playing for essentially my whole life at this point, which is also where I'll be getting a lot of the medal achievements later. The next few missions follow the events that occur right before Order 66, with these including Maigita and Felucia, and leads to the deaths of Kiadi Mundi and Ayla Sakura. It would have been cool if these were included as boss fights now that I think about it, instead of their deaths just being hinted at in cutscenes. There is also a somewhat painful mission on Kashyyyk where you have to defend the oil refinery and then attack the droids as the most dangerous gremlin of all time. I also got one of my first demolition and technician medals here. And then we move on to the mission where you hunt down General Grievous on Utapar, of which you will likely end up dying as General Kenobi and just have to blast him to pieces as a clone as I did. Now onto the big one, Nightfall, where you are tasked with wiping out the remainder of the Jedi. This level is pretty difficult, especially the library part where I recommend sticking to one bookshelf with a fusion cutter. You also play as Anakin Skywalker to carve up some Jedi, which is more fun than I would like to admit. 
the 501st then become a group of elite stormtroopers codenamed Vader's Fist and the missions following have you wiping out small rebellions across the galaxy with unique battle scenarios including royal guards on Naboo, defective clones on Kamino, and my personal favourite Empire vs CIS on Mustafar, which is after, in my opinion, the only different and notable enough space battle in the game worth mentioning where you must destroy their dropship, clear the hangar and follow them down to Mustafar. I then realised you can do this with landmines at the end of the Death Star level. Anyways, a group of rebels managed to escape from the Death Star and escape to Polis Massa with the Death Star plans, where we fail to recover them. We then finally go to recover the plans for real on the Tantive Four with the help of Darth Vader to carp up some rebels, where we then take down Princess Leia. The final two missions are all-out attacks on both of the rebel outposts on Yavin 4 and Hoth, where we blow the last of the rebellion to dust again with the help of Darth Vader and plan to beacon and defend it for a while to eliminate the rebellion once and for all, closing the Battlefront 2 campaign and getting our third and final campaign achievement. Next I started out on the medal achievements. There are 9 medals in the game with 4 achievements for each, one for getting your first medal for reaching veteran status, elite status and finally legendary status. There are also three rank based achievements which you will get as you aim towards legendary status in all medals as for every medal you get, you get closer to the next rank. First I took to space to grind out the Endurance Guardian and War Hero medals as you can get points way faster in space by destroying the enemy ship and starfighters, but especially the enemy gunships as they can give you up to 15 points each, which is what I went for first so that I would have the energy regen, damage resistance and increased damage bonuses permanently to in theory make getting the other medals easier. And eventually doing this I unlock the energy regen, damage reduction and damage increase bonuses along with the previous three achievements for each ones. Now that I had the endurance, shielding and damage increase bonuses, I then tried a variety of maps including Coruscant, Polis Massa, and the Death Star to grind kill medals such as Frenzy and Gunslinger and the likes, but eventually settled on the tutorial level as there's good points to grind every type of medal in just one place as opposed to several. Here it was easy to get the last of the Frenzy medals just by shooting at droids, same goes for both Regulator which was easy as one shot kills were pretty common and Gunslinger, which I did mostly as the Heavy Trooper since he has more health. And I eventually unlocked a Precision Pistol, Elite Rifle, and Flechette Shotgun, and prior three achievements for each one. Demolition was a bit different, but oddly fun, requiring you to shoot critical points on vehicles. I found the easiest being under where the legs connect on the Spider Walkers. And eventually I unlocked the Remote Rockets along with the three prior achievements. Technician was interesting, I expected to hate this but it was actually pretty satisfying chipping away and slicing into all the vehicles, and I find myself slicing into vehicles now just for fun, this one was okay. And eventually I unlocked the vehicle regen bonus along with the three prior achievements. The only one I really disliked getting was Marksman, it wasn't necessarily as difficult as it was finicky and boring, overall this kinda sucks but the cliff bunker was an awesome sniping point. But eventually I unlocked the beam rifle along with the three prior achievements. As a whole these were mostly quite fun to get if not grindy as all hell and took a whole week's worth of intermittent grinding to get them all, but with that out of the way the other two Battlefront 1 achievements were left. The first of the two miscellaneous Battlefront 1 achievements is Coming Around Rogue Leader which is for taking down a walker with cables. This one took a couple of attempts but was reasonably easy even with my atrocious flying. You just fly around a walker until your AI companion shoots a cable and you fly around it until it falls over. Pretty simple enough. The second and last miscellaneous achievement is called Execute Order 66 which is for killing a Jedi by knocking them off the map of which I did it here on Count Dooku. This achievement is a bit buggy because I lose the likes of about 5 times before it actually popped. But it eventually did so that's great. But what isn't great is that the Martial Commander achievement is bugged and didn't pop. Cheers Aspire, thanks a lot you cunt. As a whole, despite its flaws, I enjoyed revisiting these two games and had quite a lot of fun getting these achievements for the most part. But I will say, this is an absolutely terrible achievement list. It is so bad in fact that I've actually made my own list of achievements for the Classic Collection myself. But this video is long enough, so I'll save that for a future video. Anyways, I hope you got some enjoyment out of this guide. Thank you for watching, because that's all for today, have a good one.